What's up guys? So if you didn't know, there's a new Melty Blood game coming out in about two months. Melty Blood Type Lumina coming out September 30th. And lately there has been a little bit of discourse about the character designs in the Melty Blood series. Especially since Guilty Gear Strive is kind of the fighting game that's on a lot of people's minds right now. And the character designs in Guilty Gear are just crazy, over-the-top wackiness. The characters in Melty Blood are a little bit more normcore, let's say. They are just wearing normal clothes for the most part they just look like average people they look like you know anime protagonists which i guess is what they are at least visual novel protagonists i don't know that much about melty blood but i thought it might be interesting to uh watch some of the character trailers that they've released so far and we can talk about you know w what i think about it i'm definitely an outsider to the melty blood series i did a video a few months ago where i tried out melty blood the last version and i had quite a bit of fun with it but i only played one character i played warakia who i don't think is going to be in this one probably so i'm going into this pretty blind i i know very little about these characters but i thought it might be interesting to discuss do I think they're boring? Do I think they're cool? And what do I think of the gameplay especially? So let's jump right in with the first character trailer here. All right, so first up we got Shiki. Okay, okay. He's got the mystic eyes of death perception. First of all, is that like a pun, like depth perception? But also, does he literally have Shinigami eyes? <laughs> I don't know anything about the lore. Anyway, I'll stop pausing. We'll go back, we'll watch it, and then we'll go back through and look at the individual things. Bro, he's gonna fight the maid? Because she told you to go to bed? Alright, we got combos. Air throw finisher. I know that's big in Melty Blood. I, I know that from my time with the game. Uh, I really like when they do supers and stuff. There's like the moving character portraits that appear in the background. I think those look really good. Alright, some kind of EX move. Finisher there. Burst bait into the super. All right. Well, that that was fast. L let's let's look at some of these individual elements here. So yeah, she Shiki, he's got to be like the most generic looking one, right? He's just he's just a guy, dude. He's just wearing the school uniform with the glasses. But he's got a knife. That, that's the one thing. The one thing that sets him apart is the fact that he has a knife. So this is pretty cool right here. You guys see that? He does a reverse beat. If you guys don't know, this is kind of one of the notable mechanics of the melty blood series and the other series made by french bread um under night in birth so like in most fighting games you can only go like light medium heavy or like you move from weaker to stronger in terms of your combos but here you can go backwards so he does like i don't know a standing heavy or something and cancels it into a light and that has less recovery so then he's able to go in and apply more pressure that way and there you can see he ends the combo with an air throw i don't know why like this is just such a thing in melty blood most fighting games don't let you combo into air throws like that but melty blood from what i've seen like every b and b ends with an air throw and i guess it leads into a, a knockdown so it lets you do oki so that's cool all right so here she does some kind of I, at first i was like is this a guard cancel or something but uh the meter doesn't actually change. She didn't lose any meter. I think she might have just mashed backdash. <laughs> and the game just says reversal because it was like first frame. That That's my best guess. Now this part was mad sick. The, the double clash? Double clash? Look, that that's very Guilty Gear. I don't know if Melty Blood has always had stuff like this. And then there's this like last hit of the blanket or whatever. But Shiki does shield and gets out with the punish so that, that's pretty hype some kind of ex move ender and there the uh the burst gets baited i guess that's not really a burst it's more like an activation and then the punish with the super so yeah lo looks pretty cool to me man you know i probably don't see myself playing shiki when the game comes out i don't know he just doesn't really appeal to me but we'll see let's move on to the next one all right we got koma kishima Again, I apologize if I mispronounce any names here. I am a Melty Blood noob. He's the masterwork of the Kishima clan, both merciful and relentless. All right, let's go. Okay, 
Damn, he's gonna pray for the soul. Ooh, more clashes. Let's go. They know that the clashes make for uh, good gameplay trailers here. Ooh, command throw. Backdash seems very strong in this game from what we've seen here. Damn, the damage though. I love that they have the meters, by the way. A lot of trailers don't show meters, but I love seeing how much damage everything does and being able to tell when something costs super meter. Wow, man, these are so short. I wish they were longer. So yeah, once again, we get the clashes, and then he does shield. I remember shield from my brief time playing Melty Blood. I remember this is like a really important mechanic. And then he does moon drive, so... I don't know exactly how the meter is going to work in this game, but it looks like... So in the last Melty Blood game, the moons were kind of like your your Vism or your groove in CVS2. Like, it's the type of character you pick changes based on the moon. But in this, it seems to be like a resource that you spend, so that's different. So he uses Moon Drive here. They actually both use Moon Drive. And then he gets a fatal counter and then the EX edge and then invincibility. So it pops up all these reminders to tell you what's happening in the game. I kind of like that, but I, I don't know what EX edge is. Maybe that's like a super you can only use while you're inside moon drive. It looks like maybe the moon is a meter that when you activate it, you go into like an install. You can see that Shiki's moon has drained a little bit and continues to drain. So that seems to be the case. And you must have supers that you can only do when you're in that mode. I apologize if this information is already known and I'm late to the party here, but that's what I'm gathering for uh, in terms of how the game works here. Look, it even tells you when a move you do has armor. That's kind of nice. A lot of games now are saying invincibility, but armor is nice as well. And then we see the big command throw here. It looks like a, a running bear grab type thing. Travel half screen and get the command grab. Okay, so we get the fat ant here, and again, I like that it tells you it's a punish. I like stuff like this. I think it makes it a little easier to know why something happened. Like, you don't have to question, was that a punish or did you just not block? And now he does EX Edge, which he then cancels with Moon Drive. So, like, can you cancel supers with Moon Drive activation? Watch this. He does it, and then he cancels into Moon Drive, and then he does another EX Edge. So that's pretty sick that you, you can cancel supers with the moon drive activation. I'm very into that. And now in this last one, he goes into blood heat, which I believe was in the last game. And this is just like your, your powered up like murder mode. You can see that there's another bar here that drains the whole time he's in here. And just look at the damage. That is a sick super, dude. So yeah. Koma looks pretty cool. I Honestly, I feel like, you know, the people complaining that these characters are generic. I don't think Kuma fits that bill at all. He he looks sick to me. Definitely seems like a character that I could play and enjoy. Crazy damage, command throws. I like this guy a lot. Okay, so now we're on to who I'm pretty sure is like the other main character of the game. Besides Shiki, who is Arcuade. The free-willed princess of the true ancestors. Don't know what that means, but... Arcuade Brunstud. Let's go. Alright, we're fighting in the high school courtyard here. The stages look very undernight. Just in terms of like the 3D, 2D stuff. Is that an overhead? Oh, moon drive. Okay. The dunk. More clashes. They know that that makes the hype. Wow, the shield. Yo, Rekka. She looks like Yori, don't you think? From King of Fighters. Oh, yo. <laughs> That's getting a little disturbing by the end there, but <laughs> let's let's go back in here and, and check out. So yeah, here she seems to special cancel into some kind of slow overhead. It connects into the dunk. All right, so Moon Drive gets activated here, and I couldn't quite tell. Does it look like she was keeping air momentum from the move that she did before Moon Drive? So in that case, can this kind of be like RC and Guilty Gear, where it's like you kind of keep the momentum and you can use that to do a mix-up? I can't tell if that's what happened or if just... See, because she kind of like 
looks like she's about to leave the ground a little bit and then goes into moon drive. I can't tell her. Maybe she just activated it and then she did the, the upward special move. But again, he gets hit overhead. Bro, you got to block your dome here. He's looking, looking free. Okay. And you can see that her moon meter is draining down, so she is in that moon install. Throw whiff. But she still had time to shield, so throw whiff seemed to not have that much recovery in this game. And look at that whiff punish. That was just immaculate spacing, man. Look at Ooh, just out of range. Full punish into the nasty super. What are, what are these gross light tentacles? I don't like that, but... Ar Ar Arcuade, she looks pretty sick, man. Like, yeah, she does visually... She does look like a an anime character from like a slice of life anime. She's got the Normcore Seinfeld sweater on. But in terms of gameplay, she looks pretty sick, man. She's got the Rekka. She she dunks people. This combo looks so sick too. This was probably my favorite part was this combo with the corner carry. So yeah, she she looks mad cool. She definitely looks like a character I would enjoy. But we got one more to look at. Let's go right over here to CL the arrow of the church hunting heretics in the name of the lord so we went from just an ordinary guy and an ordinary girl onto some kind of like murder nun with some swords let's go okay so she she starts out in like her normal high school clothes but then she goes into murder nun clothes that's fine Ooh, wait we got we got projectiles? You guys, I might have found my main. Yo, if she is this like a bullet hell character? I like that. Ooh, the flash kick super? Air to ground command throw? Okay, raw raw heat activation here. She pulls out the gat? Guys, this might have to be my character. I mean... Is this... Is this... Do you think this is like a projectile Rekka? Or do you think it's like one move she throws all these projectiles? I mean, good lord. That's a bunch of projectiles. And you can hit confirm it into super from full screen? I like you that. More projectiles into a launcher? Because she was up close? More clashes, we know for the content. Gotta get the clashes going. Oh, the shield! That, that's so sick, dude. And then uh, this super does have invincibility, as we saw. The flash kick super. Oh, the air to ground command throw. And she moon drive cancels it to combo off it. So it does seem like moon drive activation does kind of have some Roman cancel applications. So that's cool. I wonder how fast you get it. Do you think you're only going to get like one moon drive per round? Probably, right? And then we get the EX Edge Super. All right, raw heat activation. And so I'm guessing this is like a heat only super. I'm assuming that every character has a super they can only do while they're in heat. And then she changes clothes again. And she pulls out the gat. This, this looks like Cable's gun from Marvel 2, bro. And then it just... And then it just stabs? This character looks savage, dude. I I gotta tell you, CL's looking like the front runner right now, man. CL's looking godlike. I when I saw she was like a weird murder nun, I was like, whatever, but that she's got the projectiles? She's got the gat? I don't know, man. CL looking sick. Uh, so yeah, those are the only character trailers they've released so far. There are other characters that have been confirmed. In this first, uh, gameplay trailer that they released, they showed a couple more characters, but they don't have their own, like, full gameplay trailers yet. So, I'll talk about them, maybe when some more characters come out. We got Hisui, the maid. Uh, but yeah. Relating back to our initial topic here, do I think the Melty Blood characters are kind of generic? Maybe. A little bit. Some of them. A little bit but do I think the game looks amazing I mean yeah like first of all visually I do think it looks great even if some of the characters are like not the most exciting things in the world to look at like just the sprite art the backgrounds it looks so good 
And the gameplay looks hype, man. And it's going to have rollback netcode. That's confirmed. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited to play this in two months. Should be a good time. But let me know. What do you guys think? What's your take? What's your hot take on this whole melty blood characters are boring controversy? Uh, and are you excited for the game? Let me know down in the comments. And uh, I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye, everybody.